Welcome back to my channel. My name is Deja. If this is your very first time here, I hope you guys are happy and safe and enjoying the year. Um, I know it's been a second, but we're gonna get to that on another video because today is all about the hair. I like my hair, guys. <laughs> I know it's very obvious and apparent, and it's probably nothing new if you follow me on Instagram, but I like my hair. I'm officially a part of the Sister Lock community, and now I'm finally a locked baddie, okay? I am a locked baddie. <laughs> so today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking all about my lock journey. I have officially been locked for three months on today's date so we're gonna get into the what's the why do a quick little story time and then i have some questions that some of you guys sent so it's gonna be a nice little q a i know it's been a second but don't forget to like this video for me and if you are new to my channel and you clicked on this video because you are a lock betty too or you're contemplating it go ahead and click that subscribe button sis, so you can follow along with my journey and now let's go ahead with the video because as you can tell we're in natural sunlight today we got no lashes so we need to hurry this up before the sun start moving along okay Okay, so I got my locks established on May 12th and May 14th and it was two separate days not necessarily because of how long they took it was two separate days because it was very spontaneous and my aunt tricked me <laughs> my aunt tricked me <laughs> so to give you guys some backstory to this entire process um, I was contemplating getting locks in 2020 when COVID first happened well initially I big shot my hair in 20 18 and as i hit that two year mark my hair grew out super super thick i want to say thicker than it was before but i can't really tell because i was permed i've been permed my entire life um so when i big chopped and my hair started to grow back my hair was super thick and being a short natural versus being a long natural is two completely different things your maintenance time your wash time all of that just like increased and it got to a point where i was just like sick of it i was tired of it i wanted something to do to my hair but i didn't necessarily want to go back to the creamy crack and permit so i was contemplating the idea of getting locks um when COVID happened in 2020 i was just a little hesitant which i feel like this is one of the reasons why a lot of people are hesitant of getting locks they don't want to go through that quote unquote ugly phase awkward phase whatever but that was one of my um hesitations when it came to looking into it so i thought well maybe i can avoid <laughs> that process by getting extensions um a lot of people i shouldn't say a lot some people start off their locks by getting extensions extensions where they actually have an actual lock that is pre-made and they attach it to the end of their lock or the way that I was looking into it I was looking into micro locks it was this one particular lady I was looking into she did extensions but she did it with mini twists which I didn't mind so it looks like you have a style for a second and then you would just allow it to you know bud and frizz up and everything and pretty much lock so I was looking into starting my locks that way but I did not want to pay over a thousand dollars for somebody to do them so i couldn't find people one in the area and then just in general as far as like price point that i was willing to spend so i just said okay whatever i threw the idea in the trash and i went ahead and cut my hair again and permed it and i pretty much kept it short mainly because i've always worn wigs i'm like the wig queen and that was one of the hardest decisions i had to make when it came to starting my lock journey so i cut my hair again and i permed it and i just left it underneath wigs and i really didn't pretty much care for it so when it comes to the actual moment of me deciding to get the locks like i said my aunt tricked me <laughs> um i was traveling in texas with my aunties and my grandmother and we were in the back seat and my aunt just so happens to be a loctician one of them and then my other aunt has locks so it was just like a tag team effort but my aunt who was a loctician just somehow out the blue started talking about me getting locks I didn't mention them not sure how the conversation came about because I was wearing a wig but she was talking about me getting locks and how she thought that they would look so nice on me and just you know a lot of things was going on this year when it came to me and she was just saying how it'd be like a fresh start and a new beginning and I'll become and all this other stuff and she was really she was really going in and I'm just like uh, I don't know I'm not sure 
because I was hesitant like I said because I wanted to do it before in the past but just like in this moment it was just like nothing I was thinking about so it was just like very random so I'm just like mm, I don't know and it was over because I showed her a picture of my hair when I had big chopped I had showed her like my my hair want to grow she was just like, oh my gosh like you need to do it you need to do it because in that moment if I was the well I, if I was decided I decided to do it but in that moment I was just like uh because I was permed I was growing I was coming out of a perm I kept my hair permed but like this that this year I wasn't really maintaining it and keep it on top of like the eight weeks or whatever so I had some new growth and I know if I wanted to start locks I definitely didn't want to start locks with a TWA this was not <laughs> in that moment that was not my plan she was like no I showed her that picture she was like you look gorgeous look at your face and yada 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 she texted my cousin who was her niece and she um has locks she was texting my sister she has locks like she was really going and so I was like fine auntie fine 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 and the thing that got me is because the deal that we decided to make i was just like oh you gonna do these for free okay go ahead go right ahead why didn't say it the first time why didn't say it the first time i'd much rather you do it for free so i can contemplate if i want them versus me spending 700 dollars and ended up painting them so mind you we were in texas i was wearing a wig i did not have any natural hair care products or just like nothing actually with me i had stuff for my wig and probably like some oil for my scalp but i didn't have like shampoo none of that but she was prepared because during this time she was in the process of retying my aunt's hair so she had everything that she needed to have for the process I was just on the other hand I, I wasn't prepared for this when you cut the perm out I'm barely gonna have hair in my hand unless you can leave some of it in can't knot it if anybody ever puts knots in your hair you run from the <laughs> I'm texting down <laughs> you go talk to me I'm not talking to you right now <laughs> I'm just nervous I'm going to make Oh yeah, we see we don't have scissors. I'm gonna have to wash my hair. I have everything. Oh lord. <laughs> no, grandma, don't encourage this. I think you're gonna be absolutely beautiful. You're gonna be a change agent for people your age. So we had got to the hotel the next day, you know, all night. Matter of fact, all night I was watching videos of people on their sister lock journey who had like two inches of hair who really had to big chop and was starting off like with nothing. And I was just like, I don't know. I don't know. I started having anxiety and everything. And I was just like, okay, well, it's just hair. I've always had that mentality. It's just hair. If it doesn't look right or doesn't work out, I'll cut it off. I'll, I'll, you know, and it'll grow back. I'm wearing a wig. So, hey, if our hope fell, I'm just going to put the wig back on. So the next day, I ended up going to a Walgreens so I could buy some shampoo and things. And I remember being in the aisle looking for the shampoo and I FaceTimed my sister, Dominique. She has locks. And I was like, Dominique, I'm in the middle of CVS and I'm having an anxiety attack. She was like, why? And I was just like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. And she was just like, well, Deja, like, don't feel like, don't feel like you have to make a decision right now. Like, it's okay. If you're not sure, just tell her this and whatnot. But I was just like, if I don't do it now, I don't think she's going to do it for free if I change my mind later on. But like, I was, I was going through it, but she was like talking me through it. And I was just like, <sighs> <sighs> and the eye was looking for the shampoo because like it was really hitting home like I'm really about to do this it, I, I didn't have a lot of time to think about this it was just like okay we're doing this right now so I went back to the hotel I had my little gel braids in because I was wearing a wig she took those out and she did some testers um, on my hair just so I can see the different sizes and she can figure out what pattern I guess will work better once I actually go wash my hair so she can see if any of them washed out so I so this is the pre-wash of my sister lock journey. What's today? Because the dates are important, right? It's May 12th, Thursday, May 12th, 2022. And I'm getting ready to have my aunt sister lock my hair. I'm currently half permed and half natural. So we're gonna have to do some big choppy. Um, but yeah, guys, don't know when or if you guys will ever see this. But this is the journey and I'm anxious and nervous, but also kind of excited because I'm happy to see the end result and my aunt has locks behind me um but yeah okay but yeah so after that i went ahead and washed my hair and i had to cut my hair because again i was perned so i was in the mirror and i was cutting and i was cutting and it seemed like i was cutting so much then i was going i'm just like okay yep yeah, mm -hmm, this should be enough she, sh she should be able to work with this so i remember telling her that i was ready and i went in her room and she turned around and she looked at me she said you cut your hair and i was like yes and she bust out laughing i'm just like what's funny 
me and she was like oh no baby i'm gonna have to cut more than that and i was like what no are you kidding me like i just knew like i you did you see the testers the testers like this would be enough and she was like mm -mm, mm -mm. you played yourself and i played myself because what i cut off versus what she cut off it was two two completely different things so yeah so that was on may 12th we did that at 10 o'clock i have everything written down started at 10 o'clock at night until two o'clock so it took four hours on the first day and then the second day we went in and did it from 9 to 11 30 so it took total pretty much six and a half hours again we only did this in two days because it was very spontaneous it was not scheduled so that was just that's just what we had to do if i wanted to get it done okay so now on to some of the questions that you guys sent me we're gonna be really really quick especially because this is getting on my nerves and we're working against the sun right now okay so the first one is how many locks do you have i currently have between i say i have about 410 ish locks when she started my hair she did it in like the grid so i do have a, a grid um she pretty much just parted my hair in sections and worked off that way and then we total each section as she was going along and then at the end we you know we put all the amounts together and totaled up so at the initial time of my establishment i had 393 locks and then on my first retie um we went in and we split up some of the ones that may have been too big because like i said my natural hair is thick so we split some of those up well she split some of those up um so after my first retie i had 401 locks and then after this past retie i didn't know that she added more until she was doing my aunt's hair and she just so happened to ask my aunt that is not the loctician asked me you know how many locks i had and i was like oh i got like 401 403 ish and my aunt iris who's a loctician she said no you got 410 and i said 410 what what and she was just like oh, oh you didn't hear that never mind so she snuck more locks in my head <laughs> she probably split some things up so i guess right now i have 410 ish i probably won't ever know the exact amount because i would not sit and count all of my locks so i have about 410 ish locks currently and i pray to god that i do not lose any throughout this journey especially if i keep up with my maintenance so right now i have about 410 locks the second question is why did you get locks um i feel like i kind of mentioned that in the beginning when it came to me talking about my me big chopping and just contemplating locks back in 2020 um i don't have a deep you know reason a lot of people get rid of get locks because they want to get rid of their products and they don't want to do all of that work and all of the maintenance and worry about how to style the hair and yada 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 that's not necessarily me um I, for me it was really i just wanted to stay natural but i know if i stay natural that i was just gonna i wasn't gonna be taking care of my hair and everything i wanted something simple or something easy as far as my natural hair i wasn't really too concerned about how to style it because i was wearing wigs and i was actually one of those people who enjoyed you know switching up my look I will say sometimes it's very frustrating trying to figure out what to do. I don't have like a deep like this is why, this is why, this is why. It was just something that I was interested in in that moment and it kind of like came back around. So I was like, okay, why not? Let's try it. And like I said, if I don't like it, we could just cut them off and start over. I don't have like a grand in-depth reason as to why I started them. And then the third question is what products do you use? Let me grab them really quick. Okay, so technically in this moment, I'm not supposed to be using anything right now but water i have water that i use to you know spray in my hair and whatnot especially when i do my roller sets and then i'm probably shouldn't be using this but i use a very 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 light amount of oil pretty much just put it on my hands as i'm taking out my roller set just so you know my dry hands isn't causing any friction or whatnot with the locks so i use this oil this is the brand Dr. Locks. It is their Yaya oil. I only use a little bit of that just when it comes to styling. And then, you know, once I get to like that three week mark and like this area is just getting too fuzzy, I do my edges. I do. Auntie Iris, yes, I do my edges sometimes. And when I do, I use this Rosemary Mint Strengthening Edge Gel by Mayel. Those are the only three products that I use at the moment. And I'm not sure how um, my products will change 
as I go about but I'm actually pretty comfortable with these and then the question number four is who did them and who is your lactician like I said my aunt is my lactician she's an actual sister lock consultant she's just not a person that I let you know play around in my hair so if you guys are in the market or are looking for sister lash or just want to get some more information hit up my auntie iris costner and then question number five is what is the upkeep like so when it comes to maintenance i get a retie um it's not necessarily a retwist because sister locks use a method called um interlocking which pretty much is a tool that they use and i'm pretty sure it is it attaches to the end of your hair and they pretty much like take that tool and loop it in through your roots um so we call it it's a retie a retightening process um and i get that done every four weeks for me i think typically it's every six to eight but because my auntie is hooking me up it's more convenient if i come in every four weeks and when i first got them done i couldn't wash my hair for about eight to ten weeks um but then afterwards now i wash it like every two weeks you know i'm only hitting three months but that's the goal to wash it like you would typically your your normal hair routine every two weeks because i am transitioning out of a perm i do still have some straight tips for me to wear them and feel 100% comfortable with them I do roller sets I don't have to roll them every day sometimes I do just so they can be nice and tight and fresh but that's just how I maintain my hair at the moment so it's just getting a retightening every four weeks some people's every six to eight doing my current wash routine and then styling my hair whichever way that I choose to style it and my retightenings only take about an hour and a half to two hours so and this next question is how long do you think you'll keep them honestly as long as, as long as I don't have any issues with like thinning or balding or them falling out and I'm still 100% comfortable with them I, I guess I'll keep them in for the long haul I don't have like a set time as to when i feel like i'm going to get rid of them so as long as i just don't have any hair issues and it's not affecting you know my hair and the growth and not having them fall out and stuff i think i'll be in it for life hopefully they can be for life first i can still do some certain things and styles and um, protect the styles and everything over them so hopefully they become for lifers and this one kind of bounces off question um six is what would you do if you didn't want them anymore that is a good question if i didn't want them i'm just gonna cut them off um i would not be that person to sit down and comb them out i would not do that i'm just gonna cut them off and start all over if i decide that i didn't want them oh and then the second half actually says do you get the urge to cut them out i don't get the urge to cut them out when i first got them done the first few weeks i was kind of like contemplating because i wasn't really sure i had was going through a lot of emotions having some anxiety and whatnot still so i pretty much just kept them tied up i was wearing turbans for the majority of the time um so i don't have the urge to cut them but if i did want to get rid of them that's how i would, got, I would get rid of them and then question eight says will you ever dye them yes that is the goal that is the plan and the desire of mine so once i hit to about a year um i do plan on dyeing them i don't want to bleach them because i've heard some things about you know bleach not coming out all the way when it comes to locks um so i'll probably use like some semi permanent hair color or something i've dyed my hair by just getting some box dyes out of the store before so i probably do it that way and my godmother she has sister locks and she has like her tips dyed like this honey brown so that's something that i'll probably be interested in doing once i get to like that year and a half mark and question nine says can you still wear wigs over them yes yes i can especially not this moment because they're so small i can most definitely get away with wearing a wig and you can even do protective styles over them too and this is the thing so i've always worn wigs i be having like wig withdrawals sometimes and i'm just like oh i just want to wear a wig because like i said i like being able to just like switch up my look and switch up what's going on but it's like i've gotten so used and so comfortable with just seeing my face and you know not having hair or anything covering covering me up or like hiding or anything so it's just like i'll go through those withdrawals and then i'll put a wig on and i'm just like Mm, nah i, I want to see my face i want my hair back out um so i'm like tearing the fence when it comes to rigs and stuff i know that is a, a choice that i can still make but it's just like i don't know i've been embracing and loving the fact that i can see all of me and my features and everything and i have to worry about oh is my hair gonna get you know messed up in this rain or the oh it's windy my wig not having to worry about all of that but yes that is an option and that is something that i can do if i want to do it and i have done it but like i said i just i've been loving just this freedom at the moment and question number 10 says who is your lock inspiration or crush when i was first looking into getting locks it was this lady i came across on instagram her name is kendra kendra lachey kendra kinshay 
um she was my what well, she currently is still is my lock crush and i loved her lock journey so much because she started off her locks and she kept her natural hair in like a taper cut so that's how she established her locks they had like this taper cut type of um frame and cut to them and she did them herself started hers with two strand twists but she does the interlocking method but yeah i absolutely love her locks i will go and i'll insert some pictures of her locks i love her locks and i love her length and when i came across her page when i was looking you know a few years ago i just absolutely fell in love with her but she is most definitely my lock crush and then question 11 says do you think you get different impressions or different treatment from others now that you're locked no no i don't think i get different treatment um as far as like impressions i, I get stares <laughs> like people look at me trying to figure out what's going on with my hair which you know is expected and i really don't care but i don't think people treat me any differently if anything i feel like it causes conversation you know some people ask oh are those locks or oh, i like your locks and who did them and yada 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 but i haven't personally to my face received anything any negative treatment or impressions or anything about them you know it's probably people talking in the head people do what they do it's expected as far as to my face no i haven't <laughs> okay so these next two questions are kind of similar um the first one says do you see yourself differently now that you're locked and the other one says do you think your confidence has changed now that you're locked i most definitely see myself differently now than i did a few months ago which is crazy because i feel like this entire year things have just been happening that has has allowed me to look at myself differently especially because i've been more like in tune with like my skincare and just like embracing me naturally without like makeup and stuff so then like me just coming along and locking my hair and pretty much getting rid of the wigs and like the things that kind of um brung the attention mainly that getting rid of like the wigs because they bring attention and then also because they covered up my face and whatnot depending on the style and everything it allowed me to really like see me and like all of my features i've really been able to embrace me and this has really allowed me to spend a lot more time in the mirror just looking and embracing myself and you know analyzing myself this probably sounds crazy um but like the other day i was looking in the mirror and i was just like I think my eyes got brighter <laughs> and like I know they didn't but it's just like they're there now and like I can see them so it's just like I'm just noticing little things about me that I didn't like notice or really didn't pay attention to before I don't know if it's necessarily because of the wigs or just because of this journey has allowed me to have more FaceTime with myself it has definitely caused me to speak more positive will try to try to speak more positive and try and think more positive about me um i'm very much a i criticize myself when it comes to like a lot of things um so during this journey doing this phase especially in the beginning because it was like i said it was an emotional roller coaster what it was an emotional roller coaster i really had to like speak life into me and like encourage me you know it's just this is just a part of the journey you know it's only a phase that like, you're going to get through this and yada 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 so it definitely has been different and one thing as well is that i'm used to being in control i'm used to setting out a plan and making sure things you know go in that way and go on that manner and when it comes to my hair they are teaching me to surrender control just let go and let things be it's crazy that hair can is is what's teaching me that mainly because you know i can't dictate to my hair you know mainly you know what to do and how to cooperate and how to act i try to get it to lay this way and it will not come back over here i try and get it to smush down and want to pop back up like my locks are really in control of me to the point was just like okay you know i wasn't aiming for this but i had to walk out the house in confidence that this is what i intended to look like the control freak that i am and wanting everything to be a certain way it is definitely doing something to me but yeah i have really been learning to just like let it be because i have no choice but to let it be like i really can't do much at this moment i can only wear it a few different types of ways and if i feel like it don't look right then it's just like well it is what it is i may talk i may complain for a little bit but it's just like what else can I do? Because they are the boss now. I'm no longer the boss. They are. And as far as the confidence aspect, because like I said in the beginning, it was kind of rough. But like now, during this process, like I actually get way more, you know, compliments and people, you know, telling me, hey, you're pretty, you're beautiful, or I like your hair. Um, even on the days where I feel like, oh my gosh, like, uh, 
you know, this not they're not cooperating with me and yada yada yada. Like somebody will say something, a stranger will say something, and it's just like, oh wow, thank you. And like it really helps. The comments from strangers, the comments just from just from my family members or other people has definitely helped me because in the times when I need it, when I'm not feeling like it, what they say and what they do, it really helps me out and encourages me. It makes me like, okay, you're right. I am. You're right. You're right. Yep, they do look good. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I had to stand up because the sun was just not let me live. But yes, that is my sister lock journey i hope i answered some of you guys questions I, f I didn't show you guys the locks so we're gonna do that i've just been wearing them in like this little updo um lately i was doing like both of the sides but i've just been doing this side right now um so yeah this is she Definitely leave some comments down below in the comment section. I am thinking about getting my aunt and we can sit down and do a more in-depth um, video about like what sister locks are and that entire process if you guys are interested. And to my fellow lock baddies, if you guys are watching this, go ahead and let me know what type of locks you have and what was your method of getting started and your what and your why. And again, don't forget to subscribe if you want to be a part of the family and join the gang and definitely stay in tune with my lock journey. But if you are not, Follow me on Instagram. Head over there right now and follow me on All Things Deja Nicole as well. And yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Peace.